Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future anime and cartoon related videos. So, today we are talking about The God of High School Season 1, Episode 5. And let me tell you, I honestly I think I had a very strong emotional connection to this episode uh, because. This, the, the whole Dawi situation, how he felt, I felt very angry today, <laughs> and not going to get into it too much, uh, but just a combination of work and a few other things just getting me very angry and screamy and huffy, and probably just hot-headed in general. Uh, that's, that was basically the, the, the general consensus of this entire episode. Uh, so, uh, Dawi made an agreement with uh, Mujin to basically use the nanotechnology in order to save his friend's life who was dying from cancer or some other sort of disease. I think it was cancer by the sound of it. Um, and basically, unfortunately, it was too late and uh, his friend passed away. So he didn't really know what to do with his emotions besides become extremely angry. That's why uh, Mira got beat the crap out of in uh, the initial fight. And then uh, Mori is, going, is getting his ass beat pretty bad in this one too. And uh, until basically he he is trying to literally kick some sense into Dawi at this point, Mori is, and it does eventually happen. Uh, so basically the two are fighting, uh, you know, basically trading blows pretty even. It looks like it's a pretty even match, but uh, the more we get into it, uh, the more we see that uh, Mori is actually the one that is weaker. Um, and and uh, Mira actually says that she's not even mad at Dowie for beating the crap out of her. Uh, they were mad that she didn't go get the nanotechnology to begin with to be 100% for the fight, uh, which is eventually will end up leading to her losing. Uh, but in reality, she just realized that she has to progress farther, get stronger, and be better. And um, for her character, it seemed like that was great development throughout uh, this episode. Uh, she even uh, stopped Dowie, because after Dowie heard the terrible news, from Mujin in the middle of the fight that his friend passed away, which is pretty messed up. Uh, and basically, he said the contract is off. I don't know uh, what end he was supposed to hold. Basically, he, Adawi was supposed to win the tournament. Uh, if he won the tournament, all the nanotech would go on, and uh, hopefully his friend would be saved, and Mujin kind of agreed to it. But uh, he, I think at the same time, he realized that his friend was most likely uh, not going to survive anyway, just because, you know, he was on life support. He was basically in a bubble at this point in time, and it, it wasn't looking good. You know, it, it was definitely a sad thing, but then it kind of turned into a happy thing. Uh, basically, uh, Mira gave a letter to Dawi in the middle of the fight, you know, kind of after the situation happened, after they were trading blows again, because he, Dawi wasn't even putting up his guard. He was just accepting the fact that he felt miserable anger, felt maybe nothing, could it could have been just an, an empty nothingness, because that was like his first real friend that just passed away. Um, and then that that was basically it. You know, he, he was done. He didn't care anymore. Um, it, it, he, he no longer cared about anything, basically. But he got a letter from him. And they basically said, uh, thanks for fighting for me all this time, now fight for yourself. And that uh, gave him the motivation. That was very heartwarming, too, uh, in, my, in my opinion. Um, very, very heartwarming. And it just, it, it was one of those, you know, delightful, feel-good moments. Uh, you know, it upped my attitude, let's put it that way, my very crappy attitude. <laughs> uh, and... It was just nice to see it. I mean, uh, I mean, during these times, we're stressed. You know, a lot, lot of crap going on. You, you don't know if you're going to have a job one day or the next. Not, I do have a job, by the way, if you're curious about that. Um, not, not didn't get fired or anything along those lines. But uh, it is. It's st stressful times. A lot of crap's going on. A lot of stuff's got to get done. Uh, everybody gets stressed and angry once in a while, but you just got to make sure you try to vent in a semi-healthy coping mechanism. I scream. <laughs> I guess what I did, I went outside and, 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 and screamed an F-bomb at the top of my lungs. Uh, and then I calmed down, talked it out, and it, it did. It helped. It, it definitely helped. So take care of your mentor, mental health. Uh, that's definitely a good part of this episode and a good part of, to, you know, today's lesson for myself. Uh, fight scene-wise, I don't know if we're going to top it. I'm going to be honest. It is going to be very, very hard to top this fight scene throughout the rest of the season. Uh, how many episodes have we got left? Like 11, I think? No, not 11, maybe 8. I'm pretty sure there's going to be 13 episodes. Um, I cannot still confirm or deny that because there, there's, like, not an episode guide that I can find. I, I know I've been asking you guys to find that for me for the past, like, four episodes. Now it's going to be five episodes because I can't find an episode guide. It describes the episodes as they're released, uh, but doesn't specifically tell me how many 
episodes are going to be in the season, but it's, it's either going to be 13 or 26 or 25. That's, that's my guess. That's typically what happens. You either get your, you know, your standard run is about 13 episodes, but uh, sometimes certain things like Ray Zero, My Hero Academia, um, and there's probably some others too that I'm forgetting right now. Uh, you get like 25, 26 episodes. So who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But uh, most likely 13 Tower of God was 13. Uh, and that was also a webtoon. So I'm assuming this is going to be a uh, 13 episode season as well but as i said the the fighting was just great they did like this um if you look at the screenshot of what i'm going to do for the thumbnail uh they had like this comic book uh or manga style to them to me it looked more like a comic book drawing but uh manga i mean similar art styles i guess you could say to a certain extent obviously there's going to be subtle differences between country to country but it was kind of nice how they like incorporated like manga standstills but they were like moving standstill so it was almost like jumping off the page of a book uh, watching them fight and trading blows and the, the worst part of this episode was he was like i never thought of now he was like i never thought of you two as a friend but then he realized that he's kind of being selfish needs to put a little bit more trust in some people and he, at the end of it they were all kind of friends again he was like yes you are my friends you know he apologized <laughs> i guess he atoned for his sins if you want to go down that route but he definitely paid his dues. Uh, he did end up losing, and uh, now Mori is on to the uh, preliminaries, whatever they call them. You know, because it's basically a world tournament. So uh, I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen next. We saw some kind of like evil, ominous face. The guy looked kind of goth. He was all in black, had like the long black hair coming down, uh, covering his eyes with kind of an evil smile. Uh, not exactly sure who that is. Uh, I'm assuming it's somebody that's going to get fought or 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 be you know a problem at some point in time. Maybe it's like the next kind of semi-villain of this season. I'm guessing. Obviously, Mujin most likely being the main villain. Uh, he's the one that was able to take out an island with a swipe of his hand and wasn't even there. Man, that is crazy. Um, I am interested, though, uh, what's going on with Mori with his eyes, because he's got the cross pattern in his eyes. This is the same thing that Mujin has on his hand. So I'm guessing there's going to be some sort of connection there. Uh, obviously, it's called the God of High School, so I'm guessing there's going to be literal godlike powers. Uh, Mujin also explained that there were two cubs. So basically, two maybe two people that are have the ability for him to give them power, because I'm guessing everybody around him, he is the one that gave them power, which is why those crazy uh, Sasuke-esque demon things come out of their back and fight for them. Like, though, I think the one was the clown, uh, and the other, I think, was, it reminded me of a Yu-Gi-Oh card, if I remember correctly, but uh, that, that's, that is my guess. What's going to happen there is uh, those guys are going to be a mark or some point and possibly dawi might go down the sasuke sasuke yeah, sasuke sasuke path and uh he might end up going to mujin for more power uh as uh mori gets stronger and stronger and stronger and as the gaps widen uh goku vegeta you know naruto sasuke if you're familiar with either one of those bakugo deku even though i think bakugo is pretty on top right now i'm not sure how it's going in the manga but uh anime wise Bakugo uh, beat Deku not too long ago, so it's, it's kind of probably going to be one of those back and forth things where like one person gets ahead and the other and the other and the other and the other. Uh, Mira, I'm assuming, is going to hopefully play a good part in there too. I know Mori said he wants to fight her before she fights Dawi again, and um, I could definitely see her being stronger now that she kind of knows what to expect from Dawi, what he's capable of, and the fact that she is not hurt or injured. You know, that, that was the major issue, is he went right for the injury, reopened it, and caused a whole bunch of problems for Mira, which is why she ended up losing in the last episode. Uh, so moving forward, what is going to happen? I honestly don't know. Um, my guess is the tournament obviously is going to have to continue. So that'll be nice to see you know obviously you're going to get your more fighting that's what this anime is very much about all about the fighting so tower of god seemed to be more about the character development and the content less about the fighting this one uh they, they went on both ends of the spectrum this one is more about the uh fighting and less about the character development although not to say it doesn't play an important role but uh definitely you know it, it's kind of one of those feel good watch somebody beat the crap <laughs> out of each other uh you know cheer them on in the stands you know wrestlemania all that crazy fun jazz but uh, my guess is it's probably going to be not a filler episode per se, but I think it's going to be more of a character development episode. Uh, I can definitely see Dawi, Mori, and Mira all just kind of chilling, hanging out, 
uh, prepping Mori for the next tournament, maybe giving him some sort of crazy training uh, in order for him to be able to win the whole thing and get his wish granted, which I don't know if that's how the season is going to end being that we have bare minimum like eight episodes left uh but I'm, I'm guessing it's a possibility uh because basically we got through an entire like tournament in like what two three episodes uh because the first episode it wasn't really in there too much i think it was i believe it was more the second episode started out so like four episodes for an entire tournament and uh, we've seen how they do some of those quick fight scenes Dari versus mira uh, in the beginning of this too there was a ju brazilian jiu-jitsu user who we got to see him uh, fight for like all of a minute before Mori basically was like, yep, you're done. I win. Um, it, I, I can see why they didn't want to drag that out. That, that's something where I could see maybe it was more of it in the actual webtoon, uh, but less of it in the anime because he's probably not an important character. And 9 out of 10, we're probably never going to see that guy again. So who cares anyway? But those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe if you're new. It helps. It's greatly appreciated. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.